If you enjoy the content on this channel, please like and subscribe. Gangs of London is a British crime drama television series produced by Pulse Films and Sister. The show follows the struggles between rival gangs and other criminal organisations in present-day London. The first series aired in the UK on 23rd of April 2020 on Sky Atlantic. The series was created by Gareth Evans, best known for the Raid action crime films, along with Matt Flannery. A second series was announced in June 2020, with AMC taking over the US broadcast, rights and the co-production. The second series premiered on 20th of October 2022 in the UK and Germany and premiered on the 17th of November 2022 in the US. A third series was announced in November 2022. The story is set in London, one of the world's most dynamic and multicultural cities, and it is being torn apart by the turbulent power struggles of international gangs that control it and the sudden power vacuum that is created when the head of London's most powerful crime family is assassinated. For 20 years, Finn Wallace, played by Com Meany, was the most powerful criminal in London. Billions of pounds flowed through his organisation each year, but now he's dead and nobody knows who ordered him to be killed. With rivals everywhere, it is up to the impulsive Sean Wallace, played by Joe Cole, with the help of the Dumani family, headed by Ed Dumani, played by Lucien Masamati, to take his father's place. If the situation wasn't already dangerous enough, Sean's assumption of power causes ripples in the world of international crime within the streets of London, which consists of the Albanian Mafia headed by Luan Duche, and as well as the Kurdish freedom fighters, Pakistani drug cartel, Welsh travellers and various other criminal elements. In the middle of this, newcomer Elliot Finch, played by Soap Derezo, an undercover policeman who has infiltrated the Wallace family organisation. Season 2 introduces the Georgian Mafia, headed here by Koba, a ruthless leader and international arms dealer who is brought into London by the investors to bring order to the city. The main cast includes Joe Cole as Sean Wallace, the youngest son of Finn Wallace, who fights for leadership of his family's criminal empire after his father's death. Lucian Mismati as Edward Ed Dumani, the patriarch of the Dumani family and Finn Wallace's longtime right-hand man. Soap Derizio as Elliot Carter or Finch, an undercover police officer who infiltrates the ranks of the Wallace organisation and begins a relationship with Shannon Dumani. In season two, he is now a hired gun for the investors, who hold his father captive as collateral. Michelle Fairley as Marion Wallace, the ruthless matriarch of the Wallace family and mother to Billy and Sean and Jacqueline Robinson. Brian Vernell as Billy Wallace, the oldest son of Phil Wallace, who is suffering from substance abuse. Pippa Bennett Warner as Shannon Dumani, the daughter of Ed Dumani, who begins relationship with Elliot Finch. Asif Razamir as Asif Afridi, the drug kingpin of the Pakistani cartel. Aureli Shuka as Luan Dushan, the leader of the Albanian Mafia in London, who is brought into the Wallace family disputes when Finn Wallace is murdered on his territory. Nagez Rashidi as Lale, the leader of the Kurdish PKK fighters in London, who oversees a heroin distribution ring while seeking revenge against Asif Afridi. Waled Zunata as Koba, the ruthless leader of the Georgian Mafia and an international arms dealer who was brought into London by the investors to bring order to the city. Salim Kali as Basim Sudani, the leader of the Algerian Mafia who wants to free his gang from the investors' control. Jai Zamando as Saba, Basim's niece who works at the cafe that acts as a front for the Algerian Mafia. And Pape Essendiu as Alexander Alex Dumani, the son of Ed Dumani and a close associate of Sean Wallace who many believe should inherit the Wallace criminal empire. In July of 2021, production of the second series had to be halted for 10 days following the crew member testing positive for COVID-19. Filming for the second series began on 31st of May 2021 and was wrapped in February 2022. Now, I recall watching season one and it absolutely blew me away. Here we had a show that was thrilling, exciting, intense and well incredibly violent. Now, of course, in this day and age, there are lots of shows that have violent tendencies, but there is nothing quite like Gangs of London if you want to see pure, unadulterated, vicious violence. And I would definitely warn any sensitive viewers before watching this one, as it really is not for the faint of heart. The violence, too, is so realistic and so authentic that it does sometimes leave you somewhat feeling uneasy. When, though, you look beyond the violence and the intense and heavy-hitting action sequences, you are left with a fantastic story that evolves and twists and turns so subtly and unpredictably that the show just never leaves you feeling disinterested. In fact, every episode just seems to fly by as you are engrossed in this fantastically layered out and nuanced stories of all these phenomenally fascinating, dark, deep characters that are played so well by each one of the actors. The whole cast here are completely on point and there are too many to mention. Of course, you have to look at the standouts, particularly the two leads here and Joe Cole. 
and Sope de Risso as two polarizing forces driving the story along. But of course, there is such a huge ensemble cast within the whole show that each member of the cast plays such a significant part within the goings-on of every episode. The characters are ruthless, the violence is in your face, but the story as itself is intriguing, intense, and really holds your attention throughout. Season 1, like I said, literally blew me away when I first watched it. I was just blown away by the depth of the fantastic show I was watching before my eyes. And I'm happy to say Season 2 continues very much in that vein. In fact, the show has lost none of its panache. There are no likable characters within the show. There are no heroes. There are no good guys. It's just people fighting over greed, power, corruption, and having to sleep with one eye open, as you just never know who will turn on who next. I think that's what makes the show work so well for me, is its sense of unpredictability. Just when you feel that you're two steps ahead of the story, something else blows your mind as it happens before your eyes, and you just sit there in utter disbelief, as you cannot believe what you've just watched. There are times when you'll be left in shock. There are times when you'll be dismayed. There are times where the show will leave you even feeling somewhat queasy. But the show will never ever leave you feeling bored, as it draws you in, and as it really is a modern day crime family masterpiece. This show builds its own reputation atop of the true and tried, tasted mafia or gangster storylines that we've seen so many times. Here we are given a completely engaging drama, exhilarating action, fantastic layered acting and groundbreaking realistic fight sequences. This show is definitely one of the shows of the year and would leave you feeling breathless as you are taken in by its sheer mastery. I cannot wait to see what happens in Gangs of London Season 3. Gangs of London Season 2 gets a 9.5 out of 10.